There's a trial going on in Kansas right now that everyone should be paying attention to. It could fundamentally change the way that Americans register to vote. The case centers around a law that required Kansas residents to show documentary proof of citizenship when they registered to vote. The law disenfranchised more than 35,000 people from 2013 to 2016 before a court issued a temporary hold. Now, the ACLU is trying to make the hold permanent, claiming that the law violates the National Voter Registration Act. The law was championed by none other than Chris Kobach, Kansas Secretary of State, notorious architect of voter suppression tactics. It does appear that aliens do vote in very large numbers. And the chair of Trump's now disbanded Commission on Voter Fraud. We want to make America great again. We have to protect the integrity of the vote and our voters. Kovac is currently running for governor while he defends his own law in federal court. And it's not going well. He and his team of lawyers have repeatedly violated basic rules of evidence and civil procedure, and the judge has had to reprimand them multiple times. In the first week of trial, the ACLU presented four witnesses who, like tens of thousands of others, were disenfranchised because of this law. They're disproportionately young, not affiliated with a political party, um, precisely the kinds of people who are the most susceptible to barriers to voting. One plaintiff told me he went to the polls on election day in 2014, only to find out that he wasn't registered. I do have a birth certificate and uh, could have presented that simply if asked for it or even knew anything about this. Then there's Kobach. Among the series of experts that he's brought to the stand is Jesse Richmond, a political science professor whose work has been repeatedly discredited. But even Richmond won't assert that non-citizen voting is a major problem. I've tried to push back in various uh, places against uh, narratives that have tried to use this study to take the view that uh, extremely large numbers of non-citizens are registered in voting. Kansas isn't the only state that has toyed with proof of citizenship. Arizona, Alabama, and Georgia have passed similar laws, and if Kobach succeeds, we'll see even more states follow suit. But ultimately, Kobach's goal is larger than this lawsuit. He has a strategic plan, independent of the trial, to weaken the National Voter Registration Act. That would legalize proof of citizenship laws like his and allow states to require virtually anything they want of people registering to vote. Voting is one of the most fundamental rights in our democracy. So while this case is happening in a courtroom in Kansas City, this is important because it could have implications across the entire country.